Welcome to the 4K portion of this channel. Welcome back everyone. Yeah, things are about to be a bit different because I have a new camera and I'm changing the way I'm shooting and editing. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please let me know in the comment below. And if you don't, well, let me know you prefer the old way. We're still going to make some cooking in this channel. And today we are making Homer Simpson's donuts. A delicious fried fluffy donut with some sprinkles and pink icing. I hope you're as excited as I am. Two things remain to be done for us to get cooking and for you to subscribe. Let's go. All right, so first, the dough. We're going to grab some milk and we're gonna warm it gently. You really want it to just be warm to the touch, not too much. To that, I'm gonna place it into a bowl and I'm gonna add my dry active yeast as well as the sugar. We're gonna give that a tiny whisk and we're gonna cover it. And we're going to let this activate for about 10 minutes. All right, the yeast is activating, let's mix the dry. So in our stand mixer, we're going to add the flour and then the salt. We're gonna start mixing this on low for about a minute. All right, now let's add the wet ingredients. We'll start by adding our yeast and milk mixture after it nicely rised, and we're gonna mix it for about a minute. Then we'll add our egg, and we're also gonna let it go for about a minute or two. We are still in low speed. Then gradually, we're gonna add our softened butter. Make sure you add it pieces by pieces so it doesn't split. We'll then grease a bowl with a bit of oil and I will place the dough after we can observe that beautiful stretch. And before we wrap the bowl with some plastic, one last thing I want to do is to make sure the bowl is somewhat smooth. So I'm going to use my scraper and then try to form a smooth bowl as best as I can, even using your hand and lift it over. All right, so we're gonna let rest this for two hours on top of the oven until it doubles. Two hours later. All right, it's been two hours, so now we're gonna start rolling the dough. All right, so our dough has now doubled in size, which is perfect. I'm going to remove the plastic and I'm gonna punch it to degaze it, now because I'm mad. I will then add a thin layer of flour on my table and I will place my dough. I'm gonna add a bit more flour over top so the rolling pin doesn't stick. And we're going to roll the dough, making sure we uh, flip it and turn it around to about a one inch thick. Keep in mind it will be a second proof, so they are going to raise once more. All right, now we're going to start getting some four inches diameter circle. I'm using a ring cutter, and if you don't have one, you could use the back of a bottle and use your knife to cut it around. You can get very crafty. Then we'll remove the excess dough, which I will re-roll to obtain more donuts. You can do that up to two times after the gluten will be overworked and it'll be more difficult. Next, I'm going to transfer it. And if you see, I've cut some little square of parchment paper because that will be very helpful when we have to drop them in oil. So very gently, I'm going to place them. Then I will take my small cutter, it's about one inch diameter, and I'm gonna cut the holes, which will fry for some delicious donut holes for snack. We'll then cover them loosely with some plastic wrap and I will put them on top of my oven. You can also use any warm place in your house and use a towel. I'm gonna let them there for 45 minutes. 45 minutes later, all right, our donuts have doubled in size. It's now time to fry them. I'm gonna bring some oil and a shallow fry about 340, and we're gonna gently drop them, lifting the parchment paper like I told you before, and we're gonna jiggle it until it comes off. We'll fry them for about a minute on each side, being very careful not to lose their shape. And then once they're beautifully cooked and golden brown, we move them onto your tray with some parchment paper. All right, we're gonna let the donuts cool down for a little bit, and we're gonna start working on the icing. For the icing, I'm going very basic. I'm gonna grab some icing sugar, place it into the bowl with a bit of water, and we're gonna whisk it until it becomes that thick little white paste. To that, I'm going to add some colorants. You could also add some jam to add a bit of flavor. It's really up to you. You can also decide how deep you want your pink, whether it's light, whether it's dark. I went for, I would say, a pretty close color to the one on the show. I will then dump them into the icing, making sure we're not pushing them too, too far so we have a beautiful coat without having too much icing. We'll then drop some sprinkles and just like that, we have some delicious donuts. I will then grab a knife just to get the cross section and see the inside. And let me tell you, those donuts are fluffy and I cannot wait to try them. Look at that. And here we have it, some fluffy fried donuts with some pink icing and sprinkles up top. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and please let me know if you enjoy this new way of doing things or if you prefer the old way. I'm about to try this, so I will catch you on the next episode.